Hey YouTube, a few weeks ago I did a video for you on a flip project that I said that I hate and today I'm going to give you a little tour of that flip project and talk about what we did. Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is April Crosley. I'm a real estate investor in Berks County, Pennsylvania. I flip houses here, own small apartment buildings and do a little bit of private lending and we're at a rehab project today that we've been working on for a couple months and I ran some numbers called the flip I hate so make sure you click like and subscribe to our channel so you can see the flip I hate. That's my Doberman Hayden in the background. He's hanging out with me today and we're going to give you a little tour of the house. So I'm going to spin around here and you'll see like a huge big grass mound back there. As we turn slow, it looks really small in the picture, but it's really big. I'm about to get blinded by the sun. Hi, Hayden. <laughs> but we had to put in a new septic system. So as you remember from the video where I did the numbers, I said, always inspect a septic system. We buy with no inspections, no contingencies, unless it's a septic, because that big mound of hay has a system underneath it that cost us $35,000 to install. That was just the septic system, not including all the other rehab costs in the house. So this is is the back of the house that we're looking at here and I can take you around to the front I'm sure you can hear all the noise coming from the street already which is one of the reasons I don't really like this project is because it sits on the street so we're just gonna kind of turn around so I can walk facing forward and also that neighbor back there is really mean <laughs> she's not nice at all there's big trees all over this property so I'm gonna turn around and show you like big pine trees. There's a huge one out front here, okay? So we've had a couple big pine trees fall down on us. And one of them fell down on her property and she freaked out like we pushed it over intentionally or something, which we didn't. It was a windy day and the tree fell down. So we had two fall down and we had them cleaned up right away. But I hate this project because the neighbors are mean. That's part of why I hate it. So it's a single family ranch home with a two car garage. Other than the new septic system, we're now coming around the front of the house and you can probably hear all the noise. It sits on a really busy street. It's on a main road. Someone's gonna buy it, stuff in this area with a two car garage. Sells really, really fast, okay? Um, and it's kind of like, despite being on a busy road, a little on the outskirts. So if you watch my video, you'll know one of the other reasons I don't really like it is because there's not a Wawa and stuff close by. So let's go inside the house because the traffic is really loud. And that's my husband. Say hi, husband. He's my real estate agent, so he's here measuring for pictures today. And we brought Hayden with us. So I'm just gonna give you a little tour of the living room and talk about what we did and a little tour of the kitchen. So you can go up if you want. <laughs> my husband's a little camera shy. So this is the living room area. We redid the hardwood floors, okay? And this whole house reeked of just cat urine, really, really bad cat pee smell. And there's lots of windowsills, like wood windowsills. You'll see behind me, lots of wood trim on the steps. I hope I'm not making you sick by moving my camera so fast. Jonathan, my camera guy, isn't with me today. I miss him. Um, but we had to have all that wood sanded down and restained because it just smelled of cat urine in here so bad. And then we sanded and redid the hardwood floors. We love to keep the hardwood floors if we can. And then we completely gutted the kitchen. So along with a new septic system, we had to completely gut the kitchen. So this is a whole brand new kitchen. This thing's actually going on the market today. So a whole brand new kitchen. Um, we didn't gut the bathroom. We kept the bathroom the same. We just gutted the kitchen. Sorry, I'm getting my hand in your uh, view. We, that's what I have Jonathan for, because <laughs> I'm not good at this. We completely gutted the kitchen and put in a new heating system. So a new sump pump, new heater, new septic system, gutted the kitchen, redid the hardwood floors, had to paint the entire house because cat pee was just on everything. We were actually thinking of refurbishing the kitchen cabinets but i think the cats even peed on those so we had to replace those and we had to sand down and redo all the hardwood floors then upstairs there's a bedroom downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs and upstairs we just carpeted and repainted everything it's pretty simple it's a cape cod with two bedrooms um and yeah now she's ready for the market but if you go back and look at the video on the numbers she was a really expensive rehab 
for very little profit. We've been working on this project for a long time and just anything that could go wrong went wrong. So like first it was, we knew about the septic system because we had that inspected, but then the sump pump went, then two trees fell down on the property. We had the heater replaced. We had rotting wood in the basement that we missed. We had to rip all that out. Um, it's just been like one thing after the next way too much money and time spent for too little return. So make sure your time is valuable. If I had to do it all over again, because this house is 45 minutes from where I live and it's not like my favorite area, I probably would have just put it back on the market without rehabbing it. Um, I would have just wholetailed it, which was when you just kind of buy it and then put it right back on the market as is. Smelled really bad of cat pee, so I wasn't sure if it was gonna sell like that. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll just flip it. But I should have just tried it to see if another investor would have paid enough for me to make a decent profit. Um, or I should have just taken the time to wholesale it. So if you wanna see all the before and after pictures of this flip, the name of my company is Berks County House Buyers. <laughs> so you can follow our page on Facebook. We have a page on Facebook, Berks County House Buyers. That's where we put all our photo albums of all our before and after pictures. Or you can follow um, at Berks County House Buyers on Instagram. Uh, we don't post as many before and afters on there. Most of them are on our Facebook page because that's where we send our private lenders when they want updates on the property that they have the loan on. Hey, that's what you guys should do too. That way you don't have to send them individual photos every week to update them. I just say, go to my Facebook page, you'll see the album for your house there that you're lending on, and that's where updated pictures go every week. So thank you guys for tuning in. If you wanna learn more, you can follow us at www.lazygirlrei.com. You can follow us on Instagram at April Crosley, and you can follow us on Facebook at Lazy Girl Real Estate Investing. Thanks guys.